So here is my struggle with the brake lines on this car. This brake hose here that is attached to the brake caliper. So that hose is connected to a brake line, which is a hard line, a metal tube. So I ended up in a situation where I have to replace that brake line and that little short piece of a tube is extremely expensive and I went uh, a cheaper route so I got a different piece of a brake line which is also a BMW product so this brake line is inexpensive but there are two problems with this. First of all, it's it comes as a straight tube, not pre-shaped. And the second is uh, it's a little bit longer. I used some of uh, some of this stuff. It's almost well, it's not as big in diameter as the tube itself, but flexible, bendy, and all. And so I shaped it to um, to a configuration that is going to fit this installation and that's what it looks like. I'm going to just copy that. I used to have a tool to bend and shape these lines, tubes, but I don't have it anymore so I'm just going to use whatever I have, mainly my hands and fingers and uh, and uh, let's see what happens but like I said this is approximately the shape that I need to make it to be and uh, I hope I can really do it Aha! Uh -huh. Do not forget to slide this fitting all the way to the end because if you bend it just in front of it that's one way ticket you have to straighten it up if you do that in order to slide the fitting all the way to the end of it so now I have to make one more bend right here somewhere And I think that's pretty much, well, that's close to what I wanted this tank to be. So here's the shape. And uh, it does look professionally formed. Now I have to test fit it. If anything, I can adjust the, the shape, but like I said, in general, I think this should be a good approximation. So this thing just fits here like so. 
Well, I'm not installing the uh, that clip yet, but and this bottom here with this white plug is where the other end of the tube fits. So this goes in like so, and it's almost a perfect configuration. The shape is good, as far as I can tell. Well, let's install it and uh, see what happens. So here is the final installation of that brake pipe. Because it is a pipe, that's what they call it. By the way, here is the, the item that I used. There is a port number, it says brake pipe right here. The cases when you would want to remove it would be replacing the brake hoses because that's where you disconnect the brake tube line from the brake hose. You have to undo this fitting. If that fitting is rusted onto the tube, it will just twist the tube. And that's what happens when things don't come undone easily. So that what that is what the rust does. Like this end, which is actually this is the front left brake pipe, and this part, this fitting is attached to the ABS, and the other end is naturally, and the other end is naturally sitting at uh, at the wheel. So this end is attached to the brake hose that is connected to the front left brake caliper those fittings or brake line nuts rust onto the tube and once you start removing them turning them they turn the nut turns with the tube I don't know of any ways of unrusting them but even if you do I don't know if it's worth trying to reuse something that is questionable because this is your safety like that's all it takes to to ruin it in any case this is the final installation it's kind of hard to see really I suppose but I think it looks pretty good to me it's like if it was made to be here here's the fitting that connects that tube to the intermediate brake line which is this here and those are pain to replace without lowering the subframe so I have finished this job on my garage queen and uh, moving on to next project and things to do